What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at an insane glitch that allows you to farm laurels super fast and super easy. So if you're chasing down those exotic ghosts or some of the triumphs for heir apparent, then this will be the video for you. Now if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now with the launch of Guardian Games, we have some new medals and new bounties to complete. And a lot of those bounties and medals consist of laurels. And these are available on any class in the game, whether that be Warlock, Hunter or a Titan. You gain three for every laurel that you pick up that matches the same class as your own. And you gain one from any other class. So it makes it really effective if you can run as a fire team of at least two or more Guardians of all the same class. Now, as you can see from some of the footage that's playing out, this is an insane glitch that's available only this week. And that's because of where this particular farm is located. But nevertheless, it allows you to get any of the ghost shells of your choice for this week, but also complete some of the harder triumphs for this event, which will help you get air apparent, hopefully that a little bit quicker. Now to kick us off, firstly, you're gonna need a tincture of Queen's Fall. These are readily available in the Dreaming City by completing public events or by opening chests out in the wild. However, if you have a lot of Barry and Bower, you can purchase these if you head over to the confluence there are a few amankaran heads and from here you can actually purchase up to five tincture of queen's fall and you're going to need only one of these as it will take you less than 30 minutes to complete some of the hardest triumphs and less than 10 minutes to get your hands on an exotic ghost now with your tincture of queen's fall in hand and a friend alongside you we're going to need to head over to the garden of Asilla. this is on the south side of the dreaming city and if you're not too sure exactly where the ascendant challenge is in this particular location then be sure to follow the route that i'm taking on screen and this will take you directly there now once here in order for the portal to appear you'll need to consume your tincture of queen's fall now once inside in order to complete this ascendant challenge there are three orbs and you need to slam those into the middle well which is in a well of light and this will spawn on some knights that you need to defeat successfully to complete the challenge. But in order to get this glitch to work, we don't actually need to fully complete this event. If anything, we need to make sure we can prolong this for as long as possible. Now, first things first, you'll still need to slam all three of the orbs into the central well. That will spawn the final knights that we'll normally need to defeat in order to complete this challenge. Now, the next step will require a bit of teamwork, which is why it's important to bring a friend with you. Now, whilst one of you will stay in the central well area in order to defeat two of the knights, one of you, me on this occasion, will take the third knight and try and coax them away from the central area as far as you possibly can. I managed to take them as high and far away as I possibly could up here on this ledge and I was fighting between shadow thrall and keeping the knight's attention. Now once you've defeated all the knights in the central location and you've managed to coax the final knight as far away as you possibly can, this is where good teamwork and communication is really key. Now as I have the final knight I will now fall. Now this will kill me but it will mean I will spawn outside of the ascendant realm. Now the key part here is as I'm about to approach and re-enter the Ascendant Challenge, your friend, the last remaining member of the original fire team, needs to also kill themselves as well. And the idea here is as your fire team member kills themselves inside the challenge, you re-emerge into the challenge from the outside. Now by doing this, you've effectively swapped places with your friend. Now the knight that you originally had aggroed far, far away will now simply be AFK and won't spawn back to the central location as they normally would. And due to this, the shadow thrall will continue to spawn in the central well location and that well will continuously provide you with ability energy and super energy. And it's at this point now you can simply farm away to your heart's content. Now it did take us more than one occasion for us to get this glitch to work, but once it was active, it made getting laurels very easy and very fast. Houndish was able to get his exotic ghost in little under 10 minutes and I was able to complete one of the hardest and longest triumphs of this event in little under 30 minutes. So it's very effective and actually surprisingly fun to do once you get it active. Now another thing to remember is because this Ascendant Challenge is in the public space, this does also count towards any destination based laurels that you'll need to collect as part of this event. So if there's any destination medals available this week, be sure to bear this one in mind if you need to complete those very quickly as well. So there we have it guys, that's the insane laurel glitch that you've all been waiting for for this week and it will make any medals that you need to get very quickly indeed. Now if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel and if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content as well, then be sure to hit subscribe. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.